Welcome to Cal South TV. Joe Tatino coming to you from the National Soccer Coaches Convention. Here at the Cal South booth, Yale Averbush. Nice enough to be signing autographs today for us. Thank you very much. Oh, my pleasure, and good pronunciation of my name. What's going on with you these days? Because the National Women's Soccer League, a two-time National Women's Soccer League champion with FC Kansas City. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's the off-season now, so I've been living in the D.C. area, but I uh, love playing for FC Kansas City, so I'll be going back there next season. Looking forward to it. Let's talk about the women's game because it's, it's exploding with the men's game, and in fact, I think maybe the men's game is probably catching up uh, as far as the history is concerned right now, but the women's league is doing very well. Yeah, very well. So it's a big deal. We're entering our fourth season of the National Women's Soccer League. Uh, the previous two women's professional leagues folded, unfortunately, after three seasons. So the fourth season is monumental for us. And also adding expansion teams. We just added the Orlando Pride. So it's looking really good, and we're all excited about it. What is it like having so many young girls uh, looking up to you, becoming an icon? How about that? You know, I don't even really think of it like that until, you know, I meet the young players and I do a lot of work with young players coaching at clinics and um, working on technical skills with them. And I think I don't think of it like that until I actually am out there and see them and see, you know, how they're looking at me and how uh, closely they're listening to what I say. But really, I think, you know, myself and the players I play with, we're doing what we love and we enjoy it and we enjoy being role models in that sense. But we often don't even think of it like that. Now, I learned a couple of things about you here at the Cal South birth, uh, booth, that is. What about what is... What is your journey about? Tell me about your journey. Yeah, so for me, you know, I've started to see what I do as an ongoing journey. It's not just, you know, as a young player, I made a goal. I wanted to be a professional soccer player. Mm -hmm. When I was nine years old, I wrote that in my journal, and it was a big deal for me. And I realized when I actually signed my first professional contract, you know, what now? My, my career doesn't just end then. Um, you know, I accomplished my goal. Do I just sit back, relax, and let it all you know, unfold from there. No, you know, it's always about continuing to work hard, continuing to face those ups and downs and push forward and get better every day. So for me, I like to see it as a journey. And as a player, you know, I still have goals. I try to be the best I can be every single day. So I always think in my mind, you know what, it's an ongoing journey. Whether you have a success or a disappointment, there's that next day you got to get back out there and work hard again. Is there a coach in the, is the next entry into the journal, a coach somewhere down the road? <laughs> Um, you know, I don't know. I'm very interested in youth development and especially on the technical side of the game, helping individuals to really, you know, um, embrace their own personal journey and practice their skills outside of the team setting. So that's kind of where I'm looking, what I'm passionate about. Um, I don't know about team coaching yet. I plan to get my coaching licenses, but we'll see kind of where that takes me. I'm told you're involved in beast mode. What's that all about? Yeah, so Beast Mode Soccer, David Copeland-Smith, based out of Southern California, is the founder of that. And really, you know, I found um, Dave and the Beast Mode system online through looking up, you know, YouTube videos and seeing what he does on Instagram and Twitter, which is now great these days. You know, we can connect with people on social media. And just really, I really like what Dave and Beast Mode Soccer stands for. It's all about putting in that work as an individual outside of your team environment to get better. And it's, um, you know, it's about improvement, number one, and then striving to be elite and setting goals and going after those goals. So it's very much in line with all the things I believe myself as a player and what I try to share with any players um, who I coach. At this point, though, a lot of young soccer players are watching this video today. What would you recommend they do as they have aspirations to maybe be a professional soccer player themselves. Absolutely. I think it's all about time with the ball, as much time as you can spend with the ball. And that being said, doing things that you enjoy with the ball. So it should be fun, always fun. Um, you know, I tell people I work really hard, but I don't consider it hard work because I do things that I think are fun. So if it means putting on your iPod, finding a wall to kick off of, right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot, anything like that you, that you can do um, that brings you joy, but also is just time and repetition with the ball. I think that's the key. Try not to hit the windows in the backyard like I did as a kid. Yale, thank you for taking the time. My pleasure. Thank you. Yale Everbush, right here at Cal South TV.